Hello everyone and welcome to Just a Cheeky. And this week is something very different for me. Something that I uh, appreciate and love the music and the style and the look of the game is, but, but this is not a game that I would typically play just because, I mean, you know me by now, I jump scare at most things that no one would. So this is going to be a challenge, but I wanted to bring it to you. There is currently a trial, a free tester, taster of the game, and I figured, why not? Why not try it? One off, see what you think. Let me know your thoughts. I want to hear what you reckon. Is this something that you would love to see in streaming? All of the good vibes, all of the good thoughts. Please, please help me through this. Oh God, please help me. So if you haven't guessed already by last week's sort of hints I dropped in the last Just a Cheeky episode, I am going to attempt Alan Wake 2. Just the trial, just tasting, what it has to offer, testing what it is going to do to my brain and my soul and just everything right now. Um, I really, really loved the video game uh, music level. That was phenomenal. Um, I remember listening to the, the, the song on like Apple Music and I was like, wow, that's amazing then looked at it on YouTube and I was like, oh my God, it's actually a level that blew my mind. I don't know if we're gonna get there today. I, I would say not because I don't think it's sort of the first level or two. I have not played the original Alan Wake's um, game. So I've only seen like snippets of it and even then it terrified me. So I haven't watched the full playthroughs. I don't really know. Other than, I, I think it's kind of given me a like Stephen King vibe of misery. You know, he's an author, um, he writes books, but then like stuff happens, but I... So we're just gonna stop procrastinating and get through it. Okay. I really hope it's worth me doing this. Normal story, challenging combat, using items and conserving resources in required for survival. This is typically what I would do. I'm a bit scared. Combat will not pose a challenge. Focus on mystery solving and exploration. See, I like that. I like that. I'm going to freak out anyway. I would, I mean, any gameplay, I would always start off normal. But challenging combat terrifies me and I've not played this before so for the sake of this trial which is this is what it's gonna be I'm going for story mode because I'm gonna freak myself out no matter what that that's guaranteed I'm already terrified back to the beginning we all it looks phenomenal story with hopes and expectations looking for an answer and I, I'm pretty sure the storyline is absolutely OP that hope without ever knowing the full story I know this has been out since what last October but I'm late to the game. I'm sorry. I'm just trying to, you know, broaden the horizons, but not really. See if I can immerse myself in this storyline. Horror story, there are only victims and monsters. Mm. And the trick is not to end up as either. Mm. But trapped by the genre, we are all ripped to pieces along the way. Mm. Wonderful. I actually used to really be into horror when I was a uh, teenager. Was I hoped it would be. More gore than horror horror. This but is not the ending I wanted. I uh, grew out of that. The story will eat us alive. I realized how fearful I am of pretty monster. much anything that could realistically happen. And monsters wear many faces. Music is on point. I love that. I'm a big fan of good music in games these days. I think it's something that is really expected by people anyway. But I appreciate it a lot more now. Oh, this looks great. You need help? Ah. Oh no. Oh no. 
I can barely see anything and I'm guessing that is... Oh, I have to be this man. Okay, I'm glad that he turns when I turn around to face him. Uh, this would be a freaking nightmare. Why? You can't see shit, mate. I can't see anything and I'm having to move you in your naked butt. Oh, oh, okay. Can we run a bit? Oh, do I have to go up there? Okay. He looks somewhat injured, unless that's just how he walks. He doesn't seem to be in a hurry, and I certainly would be. Although I don't know if I'd want to go deeper into the wood. Woods, oh God. Oh. Oh yes, help me. Help me, I was just a bit scared that it might be someone that's not gonna help me. What? What? No! Come back! Oh my god. I don't like this. I mean, I knew... I knew... I got myself to blame, really. I can't... Oh my effing god. I can't see nothing! Uh-uh. Uh-uh. I can't see where I'm going. Mate, if you die, I'm sorry. Probably better to have someone else than me helping you right now. Uh, uh. <laughs> Can we run? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's already started. I warned you. This video... Yes! This video needs to come with a warning, I feel. Probably we'll, we'll do that. Just, you know, don't want to deafen you guys. I can't believe this. Oh, <laughs> it's right there, it's right there, it's right there, it's right there! What? Uh, uh. I don't know where to go. I can't see. Is he freaking out about Alan? I mean, Alan's name is Alan. No one freaks out about someone called Alan. Why can't I... Why can't we go over the this? I can't see anywhere else to go. Dude. I can't... Can we go up here? Oh, this is a struggle. Do we have to go back on ourselves? I might literally have to adjust the brightness just because I can't effing see. Literally can't see. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. Right, that's a bit better. This is the way that we were trying to get through, but I can't... I think we're blocked. But like, this is this is a freaking nightmare. I would like him to just die or something. You know, I, I don't want to be in this situation right now. I feel like I can't go anywhere. Maybe I have to go back. <laughs> I don't want to. There's no other way, right? This way? No. He's like, no, wrong way. All right. Uh. But I can't, so you can't swim, no? Oh, it's just really freaking me out. I don't like this at all. I don't know where I'm supposed to go, up? But I can't go up. This way? No. What the prick?
Like up here? Or maybe up here. Oh god, I just don't. Oh. <laughs> yes, help me. Help me. Okay, they're, they're not helping. Oh. I just ran right into them, but I mean, okay. I'm sorry, dude. I told you. I told you I was not the one to help. Where's the rest of the stuff? I need to finish this. What the fuck? Yeah. I'm sorry, man. I can't help but think that I guided you to that. Oh, man. I feel like I'm going to get a headache by the end of playing this. <laughs> Out of stress. Okay, game over. Great. That was fun. That was fantastic. Um, I hope you liked it. Hey, kiddo. How are you? Oh, this is nice. This is chill. How are you? This trip might take a little longer than I thought. I'm sorry I've been gone so much lately, Logan. Wherever it is set, it's Mom, utterly stunning. What happened? Maybe west? Yes. Coast, sort of? South of New York, -ish, right? I'm not sure. Just watching the latest episode of Night Springs here. That's just Mom, a guess. It's so good. No spoilers. Mm -hmm. I'll let you get back to the show. You were supposed to wait and watch with me. Wow. I love you both. Or maybe somewhere north. What maybe. When I'm you not sure. Work trips, Mom. Colorado. And say hi to Casey. Tell him wherever it's beautiful. So Logan. I will. Bye, kiddo. See what I mean by story mode? I was pooping my pants just for that, you know? Logan thinks you should try cheering up. <laughs> Snarky oh. kid. Wonder where she gets that from. <laughs> True detective style? It can't be a coincidence that another body turns up just as we arrive in town. Feels like the killer's leaving us Another a body. Hmm. I'm glad you're on this case with me, Anderson. And by the way, Allie. I'm like really, I really lo do love crime, documentaries, films, that sort of thriller type thing, but I don't know, this is like thriller no. horror, I sure guess. You want up. Wow. The cinematics are... Almost reminds me of Resident Evil. Uh, which is it? The family? They come in like that. Into the wooded area. I also did see on State of Play last week that they had the Silent Hill 2 remake. Wow. I mean, terrifying. I used to really love the film, the first film. Again, not so much anymore. <laughs> Return one, invitation. Oh, I like that. The, the chapter's really cool. Get to the crime scene, find the deputies. Uh, worth nice. Memorizing before we get swallowed up by the trees. Yes. Okay, cool. I like that. That's a really smart way of integrating the map. Could be that displays deputy. key locations in the area. 
So let me just... Oh no. But maybe I can't get the map up yet. Wow. I mean, it looks much more inviting now than it did last night, wherever I was and whoever I was. Sheriff Raker said you'd be coming by to take over the case. You're half right. Anderson? Saga Anderson. I'll be leading this case. Seems you already know my partner, Alex Casey. Shoot. Sorry about that, ma'am. I'm Deputy Mulligan. I just figured that, you know, that, uh... Mm-hmm. You figured, did you? Federal uh? agents right here, Thornton. My partner Thornton, down at the crime scene. He's not what you call the sharpest axe in the shed. Right here? What do you mean? <laughs> I was you? Oh, shit! They didn't hear me, did they? Yep. Nice. Could you be seeing any witnesses? I Were think there any the witnesses? Question to ask. Yeah, a couple out of towners. I wonder what they were doing sneaking around the woods at oh, night. Hmm. Not, not what I would be doing. Not that we have anything against city folk, right, Thornton? But don't worry. Sheriff Breaker took him back to town a while ago. What can you tell us about the crime scene? Tell about the heart. See, I'd love this as a game if it just didn't have the horror. Well, we reckon there are some uh, organs that are currently outside the victim's person when they should be, but you know, inside. You think? Most organs are inside the body. I want to see the body. How do we get there? Oh, sure, that's real simple. Just through the hole in the fence, down the hill towards the lake, around the old convenience store, you can't miss it. So, I reckon this, this must be the same Sierra guy that I basically shop, got murdered. The store, the campground, all of it. Hmm. Is that Billy Bob Thornton? Meet Deputy Thornton at the general Before we store. get to the crime scene, there's time to review the facts of the case so far. Make sure I'm seeing the clues clearly. You can access a case board inside the mind place. The mind what? place. My version of the mind palace technique. To sift through clues and work the case. Huh. Building the mind so place again office. for each case. Using wow, field I mean, I can't, I can't get over the... I can't get over... I can't actually see her face because I am her, I guess. The the visuals, the face, the skin. I know lots of people have seen this, but I'm, it's first time for me. Everything we know about the previous murders. This is so cool. Worth taking another look. Okay, previous victims. The case board is a mental technique that allows Saga to analyze clues and progress the investigation. Okay. You can use it to move around. All right. Murder method. Slight difference in murders. Bloating only com commonality in bodies, but not cause of death. Chest trauma. Exposure to water post-mortem. Bruising on the wrist, leg, deep gash, gash, in the chest, heart, missing. Lovely. Okay. Okay. Uh, you are now free to navigate the case board or leave by pressing. Okay. Can I navigate them? Yeah. So if I flick up. Okay, all victims reported missing in 2010. No other commonalities, but that's interesting itself. Okay, so we have three previous victims or three current victims. Or three, sorry, and then hours from that night. Ted Lane, dentist, stab wounds, bloating, bruising on the wrists. Wendy Davis, teacher, body bloated, large chest wound. So they kind of are similar. She's got a chest wound and he has bruising on the wrist uh, as well. So maybe tied up or tortured somewhat. Percy Wolf, store owner, bruising, heart removed, strange tattoos. Huh, the tattoos is a bit different. But again, chest 
heart removed, bruising, right, but they don't have any other sort of real life career similarities, nothing like that, or age, it doesn't look like. Okay, deep gash chest, all bodies experience bloating. So exposed to water, is that what that means? All right, and then killer profile. Talk to someone, okay. Victim three was covered in illegible tattoos. A message from the killer, maybe, or their art. Apart from going missing in 2008, nothing different in common. Killer maybe a sportsman or hunter. So he must know how to dissect. I'm assuming that's what they mean. A series of murders have occurred around the town of Bright Falls. Finding the connections will help us search for the killer. Okay, so goals. Get to the crime scene, meet... Oh, okay, that's just what our goals are. Okay. Um, let me just go back there. There was another thing. Cases. Nothing. All right. Oh, and then you've got the map. Oh, that's cool. I love that. Oh, and it's huge. Holy, holy balls. Okay. Anything else we can interact with around here before we go back? I love this. This is really cool. So if I'm ever freaking out, I can just come here. Happy days. Oh. I see you're already hard ah. work, Anderson. Exit Most that way. That's yes. very clever. We're just getting started. Wow. Hail to the crime scene. Can I just take in the view? Fucking nature. Gives me a I mean, I definitely just agree with that. <laughs> I can tell he's a city boy. Okay, right. I could look at that all day long. So let's carry on so that you don't get aggy, mate. Can I? Oh, I can jog. That's good. Look at this. It's so, so cool. Hey, Casey. You putting me in charge. Why now? Look, Anderson, you're a better detective than I am. I'm glad that you... Cases that had the rest of us baffled. Glad that you admit that. You down. Are you thinking of retiring? You know what happens to cops who say this is their last huh. case. Mm -hmm. Real Does a hike Anderson. a day keep depression away? What? Chaos at Cauldron Lake, rampage at the rental cabins, unidentified, my, bleh, unidentified man attacks vacationers in the dead of night. Sunday, an idyllic evening of barbecuing and late night fishing was violently disrupted Saturday as a mysterious assailant attacked park visitors, causing chaos and destruction at the cabins. The incident left three people injured, one which has been admitted to the county hospital. As to whether the attacker is still at large, Bright Falls Police have yet to make an official statement, leaving local residents in a state of uncertainty. Okay. Interesting. Missing gentleman found on trail. Excellent. I'm glad the dog was found. Okay. Let's keep going. What's this notice board? Fire, camping, leave no trace. Nice. Right. So this must be like a, Stay I guess, out. like a holiday area as well, if there's a general store and everything. Or was. It looks quite uh, run down and destructed in a sense. Mirror Peak, maybe that's because of the murders, I'm not, I'm not sure. The mighty mountain and the distance is no other than Mirror Peak. The iconic landmark overlooking Cauldron Lake. From the right angle, its beauty will ref be reflected on the calm surface of the lake, mirrored in all of its inverted glory. What? Oh, look, the background. Oh, they've done this so well. I feel quite calm at the minute. It's good. She's making me feel calm. It's daylight. So that definitely helps. It's what well, sort of daylight. Okay. Down? All right. Let's get to the body. Not Let's a have a boot chest. Hmm. If getting back to nature is your thing. Well, yeah. Damn. Should have brought an umbrella. I like the rain. The only oh, thing this around dude. Here is it feels like home. You think the local law had the sense to put mm. up a tarp? Hmm. Where are you from, yeah. Seattle? Next coffee's on me. Get 
Mulligan. I'm gonna go check something out. Be right back. Got it. Deputy Thornton, I take it. That's me, at your service, ready to get this case solved. Now the body's behind the store. Come on, I'll show you. Yeah, this looks a fairly run-down place, so maybe it was a popular oh. holiday maker FBI. place, and then they've had all of these troubles. So cool. What an incredible place I to go to, though. Without the murders, obviously. The you forgot the UFO cover-ups. <laughs> Those are real? You guys hiring? Oh, he's Let's just see this body, shall we? Mm -mm. Yeah, that's our guy. Now this is the scene of the crime. We found him on the table. Now he didn't touch nothing, you know. Good. Procedures and stuff. Thanks, mm -hmm. deputy. No tarp. You owe me a coffee. Okay. Let's start by examining our guest of honor. Mm, Does this right. fit the MO of the previous murders? Well, I don't know. Well, it's bloating, Step isn't one. it? And there was bruising. The corpse. Great. Do we have to get closer? Oh, there's his heart. Body is positioned on the table. Ritualistic. You unlocked, your, you unlocked your first key image. You can place it in the case board inside Mind Place. Okay. The allow saga to see active clues. The key image can be selected with X and placed on the board. Another Boom. body turns up just as we arrive in town. Coincidence? Possibly. Mm. I mean, would they know that the F FBI... Sorry, my cable got caught. Are they going to know that the FBI were coming and just decided to do this as a, a point? Don't know. Might have just been a coincidence. Placing a key image on the case board begins a new line of investigation. Okay. When a key image is placed, it will prompt a new question, of course. Goals investigate the crime scene. Nice. Okay. Nice. Okay. So we go back out, I guess? Because I want to go back out. Oh, no, I can just exit. You can collect clues from the body to progress the investigation. Bruising on the wrist from the cargo straps holding him down. Okay. Heart. The killer left the heart right next to the body. Yeah. Inside stab wound. Chest cut open. Heart removed. But it looked like from the scene that they ran off chasing other people. So maybe that's why they left the heart. Newly discovered clues. Okay, yeah, yeah. Okay, so. Uh, how did I get it up again? That's what she said. We put it there, okay, that makes sense. Mm. <clears throat> yeah, you're telling me. Oh, okay. Have to be in order, my bad. Okay. Lovely. Heart Making a nice control. little line. Strapped by the wrists. Definitely matches the previous murders. Mm. But this time the heart and the straps were left behind. In a rush. More clues to work with. Yeah. This makes four murders that we know about. Wow. The clues have resolved the open question and unlocked a deduction. As you advance the investigation, new questions will be unlocked, updating your goals. Killers, the victim. Okay. You can check updated goals by pressing triangle. Learn more about the victim, learn more about the killer. Who is our victim? Right. Who it's killed a good him? question. It's a good question. Need to find more clues. Large amount of blood on the table. Yeah. Well, I mean the victim died here. It wouldn't be shocking. Multiple people were here. Multiple killers? 
ritual. She's, I think she'd pointed out before about the ritualistic style, maybe a cult. Um, three didn't come up with anything. Any idea who the victim is? Oh, I sure do. His name is Nightingale. He was FBI. He came to town about 13 years ago. Oh. I haven't heard a word about him. He's since. FBI. Maybe it wasn't a coincidence then. If they knew that the FBI were coming. Nightingale. Oh, yes. You probably knew him. Brothers in arms. Oh, and sisters. Huh. Okay, so maybe not a coincidence then. So you knew our victim? Well, I didn't recognize him in his current state. But yeah, I ran into him a few times at Quantico. Ooh. Never worked any cases together. After his partner got killed in the field, he went off the deep end. Got mm. the boot pretty quick after that. Nightingale went missing 13 years ago, 2010. The same as all the other victims. Wow. Certainly fits the pattern. So it had to be more than one person doing that, surely. Probably something this town wants to forget. So what happened to Nightingale after the Bureau let him go? I only know the rumors. Depression led to booze, booze led to paranoia. Mm, so he got sad. some wild ideas in his head, chased ghosts until he fell off the map. Guess oh. he ended up here. I bet there's more to that story. Mm. But no happy ending. No. Wow. That's something. Okay. Booze. Definitely confirms that there must have been more than one of them. Surely. Spent time here. Waiting. Yeah. What's down here? Someone left in a hurry. Knocked the tripod over. A tripod? What for a camera? Oh, for a camera. I think that's everything. For now, at least. Mm-hmm. Anything? Wait there, sir. Okay. The victim. He would be a victim, wouldn't he? Yeah. Robert Nightingale, ex-FBI, came to Bright Falls 13 years ago. Hmm. Multiple. Lots of activity here. It's unlikely our killer was working alone. Agree. That's a victim, I feel. Surely. Oh, okay. Oh, okay, no. Uh, oh, I guess the killers were doing it. Multiple killer. Oh, okay. Yeah. Quite the party. Premeditated or spontaneous? Wow. Mm. Looks like it's premeditated to me. Looks new. Bought by the killers. Why? To mount a camera. Weird snuff film. <laughs> okay. Hmm. They planned for the murder to happen here. Yeah. Passing the time with equipment ready. They were waiting for him. But why Nightingale? He's been missing for 13 years. Like the others. Why here? Why now? Hmm. Profiling. Get into the subject's head. See what they saw. Feel what they felt. Use whatever I know about them to guide my intuition to a revelation. Huh. Piece it together. Wow. Profiling. Using her intuition so I can, can discover new clues by profiling people of interest. Missing person, ritual murder. Agent Nightingale has been MIA for 13 yeah. years. How did he end up here? 
Up from the lake that's not a lake. It's dark. He was there too. You are not allowed in the lake until he says otherwise. Robert Nightingale came from the lake before his murder. Huh. Agent Nightingale has been MIA oh. for 13 years. Skip route. Okay. Nightingale was chosen as the victim. Why? Click the switch. It goes click. Lights are off. But somebody's home. Somebody's home. This wasn't some random act of violence. Mm. This was a ritual. A Nightingale a component. They didn't see him as a person. More like a container for something. Okay. Okay. So... You've profiled him. I can feel that Nightingale came from the lake, but why now, after 13 years, where has he been? That's a good point. Investigate the crime scene, check the lake shore. All right. Okay. So we've profiled him. The lake is connected to Nightingale yeah. somehow. So Casey, we need to go to the shore. Let's take a look down by the lake. Lead the way. Sounds good. Uh, this way, right? Right. Well, okay. Well, I'll just, uh, I'll just wait here. Yeah, so you do that, sir. Right, so you profile him. Somehow she's this got some way, inner Anderson. ability to I think Nightingale profile them. From that see what their background is. See the, the type of person they are. See Probably if there's any links to Safety. the location that they're at or what's they happened to them. Man. When you're ready, I'd love to hear what you put together so far. Sure. She's obviously it's got some sort complicated. of skill set that Nighting others lack. in the woods alone at night, possibly nude. The killers knew he was here, ambushed him, dragged him to the campgrounds, strapped him to the table, cut his heart out. Standard. But then they were interrupted by those witnesses, the bookers. Ah. The job is unfinished. That seems pretty complicated to me. What was this guy doing skinny dipping at this time of year? That's Haven't it, figured it? that part out yet. Mm -hmm. Lots oh. of... There's a piece of paper on the ground. I didn't know trees got that big. Tracks. Barefoot. Huh. Nightingales? Him. Yeah, it must be. They come out from under the boulder. It makes no sense. A page full of text on one side. Not a printout. Written with a typewriter. Old school. Lines scratched out and edits added with a pen. Mm-hmm. Like a manuscript. A page of a story. Hmm. Killer left a message. Ugh. It's for us. The text is about us. What? The victim was one of their own. FBI special agent Robert like a book. Nightingale. And then the Alan. page they found. The first step down into terrifying depths. Reading, Reading the, the words. words. These, These words, words felt like a message. Felt like a message. What? Someone knew they were here. Someone playing a game with them. An invitation. Like threefold. I'm playing the game. You're playing the game. Even if they knew it They're playing a game. You're all playing games. Wow. Someone's been watching us. Playing Not the last. Game with us. You were yeah, right. Freaking weird. This is right oh. up my alley. Nightingale came this way. Either he dropped this page, or the killers left it for us. Someone did. Okay. So, this is profiling. We want. What's that? I should profile Nightingale about this page. Yes. Okay, so we have a new we profile have area. A story about these events. She's linking them direct to him rather than the killers. Is that right? These words close to my chest now. Inside. Oh, it's creepy. The awful truth. You must dig it out. Something was put inside him, in his chest. Oh. I must find out what. Is it bloody like Hannibal now? Okay. 
Manuscript pages, play the narration. One of their own. FBI Special Agent Robert Nightingale. Gone missing here 13 years ago. This is so well he done. suddenly turned up, only to be murdered in a brutal ritual on the very day of their <laughs> arrival. And then there was the page. This page. The first page that they had found. Not the last. The first step down into terrifying depths. Secret truths trembling beyond the threshold. Is this his little words. typewriting office? These words. Felt Alan? like a message. Was a message. Yeah. Uh -huh. Someone knew they were here. What they were doing. Someone playing a game with them. Leading them on. An invitation. How could they not accept? Yeah. The sheer mm. audacity of this impossible mystery presented to them. Even if they knew it would end up hurting them. Wow. Okay. <laughs> right, so uh, we need to go back. Um, we've done the profiling, right? So should we go... a minute. Back here. We need to go back to his body, don't we? If you're so unsure, please don't forget to check the mind place. But I think that we needed to go back... Let's just... Oh my goodness. Manuscript pages, the map... Oh, here. Let's go to case board a second. I'm pretty sure we need to go back and investigate his body then, if something's been left. What? He walked through a boulder? Doesn't make sense. Nope. Trail has gone cold. Hmm. I think he came from the lake. But his tracks make no sense. No. There's something more going on here than I'm seeing. I need to examine his pro body properly back in town. Yep, okay, get that. And then the manuscript. Found so much information paper. already. Time to properly examine the body. See what I can find inside. Yes, girl. Right. Learned all I can. Yep, okay, cool. So let's go back. Let's see. I think something's been put inside Nightingale's body. Let's tell the deputies to get the body to the town morgue. Okay. Hmm, lovely. Let's go before it starts getting very dark. It's gotten suddenly very dreary and misty and dark. Ooh, what's this? Oh, we're going up this way, are we? Okay, girl, we can do some climbing. I'll be back in a second. Roger. Anything here? It's like a little house. Is this behind the general store? Is this the general store? Ooh. Some rope. Interesting. Anything else here of interest? Just creepy. Yeah. Cool, though. Great location, just a bit creepy. Witch's hut. Okay. Here lived the Witch of Cauldron Lake, but where her spirit may still haunt this place. All right, well, let's go then. Did you know this entire area is inside a caldera? This whole mountain used to be an active volcano. Wow. Imagine the force it took to carve this crater out of the earth. Calderas are pretty rare, so be sure to take it in. So, essentially, we're standing in the gaping maw of hell. You got it. Wow. That's some way of I used to it. love geology when I was in school. I helped Ooh. Logan build a great baking soda volcano for her science fair. Cheating on a science fair? Mitch told me today that her family is moving away. This sucks. I'm not say no I quality haven't even told volcano. her that I like her yet. I mean, my daughter. <laughs> What's the point anymore? She said her parents went want to get better jobs and get her a better school in a big city. I guess that's fair. Who wants to stay bright in fucking <laughs> stay in bright fucking pool? So I told her, she said, thanks, fucking kill me. I snuck out last last night again, went to the big house by the lake instead of just watching it from here, like I always do, instead of just sitting around like I always do, screw that. Anyway, something weird is going on down there. I'm going to find out what. 
Going to go back there tomorrow with better gear. I bet I can find a way inside the building. Take some photos. It's going to be epic. Oh, okay. Ooh. Thank you. All right. Is that it? Should we go back? Or down here? Is that a kid's lunchbox? An oh. Alex Casey movie lunchbox. Huh. Casey hates the endless jokes That's about coincidentally having the same name as a fake detective. <laughs> he hates I know things can get a little dialogues. crazy around here. But he really hates the movies. But if you're ever feeling scared, just remember that Alan is watching over us. Okay. Weapon upgrade. <gasps> oh, we've already got an upgrade. More bullets increases the mag magazine size by 50%. Hold the fire button to activate auto fire mode. This significantly cre increases the rate of fire. Or another headshot. Land two headshots in quick succession to stun an enemy for an extended duration. Oh my days. We've got one. Okay. Oh, I see. So we've got to collect the manuscripts. I didn't have anything more. No, I don't need to look at them. All right. Very cool. Well, I'm glad that we ventured around here. But also very, very aware that it's quite dark and I want to get the book out. So let's just go back. Uh, no, we can't go this way down. Go back to maybe the town. One piece, Anderson. Forest can be a dangerous place. You I think? think? I something. It'll only take a minute. I'll wait here. I'm, I'm coming back. I think. I hope. This way. Oh, this is the lake. Oh, I'm not sure, actually. Can't go any further. Water's too deep. I think that's a good idea. Let's get the F back. Oh, wow. Look at the sun rays. Oh. I guess at least it stopped raining. And it's a bit sunnier. Love that. good to know that you can look around and find absolutely uh like other bits sorry not absolutely other areas other things trinkets upgrades it's good to know seems like a nice town so far murders aside pretty woods cute lodge we got set up in we should go for a hike if we get a chance now you're just being mean anderson Deputies aren't exactly up to the task, but hopefully the sheriff will be more helpful. Not a surprise about the deputies. Doubt they see much stuff this gruesome. Mm. Oh, you could you could literally get lost in this place. I think we have. Oh, that's pretty. Little tree chimes. Might have to check the map in a minute. Hmm. Uh, down here. Maybe this spit? What's up there? No, I want. Uh, oh, I guess. Oh, no, 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 no. Don't need no torch. Oh my, so I'll just go straight ahead. Cool. Yes, I know. We're just going straight, it's fine. I was just looking around, just checking things out. Uh, this way, yeah. Just a leaf, cool. <laughs> yeah, general store. I mean, which which way? Which way is it? Round. Can we go in? Oh, they left yeah. a lot of garbage. Not the fastidious type. Oh, they playing games and waiting. Okay, in the actual general store. So they must know this area. It seems, well, they must do. If all the murders have occurred here as well, it would, it would suggest that they may be 
locals or know the lake or there's some sort of significance for them with the lake or one of them. Cool. All right. I'll look around. See you in a bit. Take your time. Where are you? Like, how do I get to you? It was definitely by the general store, wasn't it? Maybe around here. Here we go. Right. Hey, you made it back. Good. I hope you didn't get stuck in any of those big puddles. Crazy flooding down there, huh? Just like I said. Deputy, I want the body taken back to town for a proper examination, ASAP. Well, sure, but the coroner won't be back in town for another week after Deerfest. Not a problem. I'll okay. do it myself. Oh, oh. and Sheriff Breaker called. And we're qualified? Got the bookers at the oh, Deer Diner in oh, that's who we need to talk oh, to, the witnesses, right? A key to the gate. It's a shortcut back to the parking lot just up the hill. Perfect. Thanking you, sir. Shortcut key. Love it. Thanks. Right. Let's go. Let's go into town. Let's like get the proper the town. Drive to Bright Falls and talk to these witnesses, the bookers. At the diner, right? I, I could use a cup of coffee. Let's try that shortcut the deputy mentioned. Sounds good. Work like a charm. So far, I feel very calm compared to the first minute of this, <laughs> which is good. It's beautiful. I like the switching from the crime scene or wherever you are to your mindset. Together yet. Heart removed, tripod, tracks leading to a dead end. A tripod for a camera? No. To Did you not see, dude? Snuff film? Maybe. And why take out his heart just to throw it away? To stuff in something for us to find. Huh. Oh, yeah, we need to look at that. And there's the car. Perfect. <clears throat> wow. Even the clouds. Here we are. Let's drive Close up to town and meet the sheriff at the diner. Oh, we have the undercover car, non non police car, FBI car. <laughs> I just naturally went to the police car. I can't get that manuscript page out of my head. I've never seen killers reach out so directly before. Damn impressive. Yeah, that's so, so strange. Far. Obviously, Alan. With your technique, these hunches were moving fast. It's like we're in I the book. I about taking a case so far from home, but I'm thrilled to be here for this mystery. Mmm, yes. Aren't we all? <laughs> What? Need to swing by the lodge to get anything from the field office? No, I'm all set. I'll park there anyway. I don't need oh, to I say it. Diner. You can see for yourselves how good this game looks. It's like a freaking movie. It is so scary how quick gaming is developing. And it just seamlessly molds into gameplay wow the diner's just up the waterfront shouldn't keep the sheriff and our witnesses waiting i smell coffee yeah okay doesn't look like you can talk to these people yet then just how much coffee have you had today charlie oh dear <laughs> you Yup. Okay, cool. Diner. Sheriff. Let me guess. The FBI. Welcome to Bright Falls. 
It's nice to have you here. I got you both some coffee. Oh, it's Washington's finest. Washington, okay. Yeah, nice to meet you, Sheriff. I'm set for coffee. You know, I wouldn't say no to another. I'm Agent Saga Anderson. This is Agent Alex Casey. Tim Brinker. And let me just say, I'm happy you two are here. Frankly, Again. we could use the help. Your deputies said you had a couple of witnesses here. They made them sound like suspects. Mulligan and Thornton are still on about that? No, no, the bookers don't strike me as the murdering type, but you can decide for yourself. Who does, though? They're just inside having coffee and pie to calm their nerves. I'll see what they have to say. Pie! Casey, you compare notes with the sheriff. Take your time. Let's see what these guys got to say. Case files you sent over, Sheriff. And you have many people not... besides the known victims go missing. Yeah, these two, they look pissed. Excuse me. I'm Agent Saga Anderson. Are you the bookers? That's us. I'm Tammy. That pie looks He's amazing. Hello, officer. Just Saga is fine, Ed. So are we being charged with anything? Because if not, we'd love to get back to our hotel and decompress after what we saw. Take a bath, scream into pillows, that kind of thing. We're not I'd like to, you. to. I have just have a few questions. Conversation, first. Nothing to stress about, okay? Yeah. What were you doing at Colgen late last night? I'm a writer. True crime. We're here in New York, doing some research on a famous wow. novelist. Wow. I've got more than missing here. I was down at you the can lake, chew. Getting he season. went missing here. Perfectly legal. Oh. So what did you see in the woods? In the dark of night, though, I mean... This naked dude came out of the lake and... Brave? He was acting crazy, shouting weird shit at us. He must have been on something. Unless skinny dipping at dawn is a thing around here. Then we heard shooting. We ran into these psychos in deer masks. They were tearing into the naked guy with knives, like some kind of satanic cult. And then we bolted and called the cops. He looks terrified. What makes you say it was a cult? <laughs> the masks and knives aren't enough. They, they were shouting, cult of the tree, the cult of the tree, cult of the tree. Oh, and then we found them. <laughs> the whole thing was terrifying. Mm -hmm. That's what all. What did you find? What did you find? Can we not ask them? Well, okay, we're profiling, are we? Uh, let's have a look at this. What are the bookers telling me? Mm. The necklace. The symbol is two triangles. The cult wants their spruce tree bag, Tammy. Finder's keeper is Ed. My publisher will want this on the cover. Tammy found ha. thing. A necklace belonging and she to doesn't want to give it up because she wants to write her book. Interesting. The bookers were at Cauldron Lake. Why? This was built to hide what's there. They say the rider fell in the lake. Private party. No trespassing. My book has questions. Past the bolt cutters. They broke in for the sake of Tammy's book. Nothing to do with Dead the of night, though. They were telling the truth. Okay. So I want to go to the case board. Goals, what's your interview witnesses at the time? Okay, let's go back. So you found something there, right? A necklace these cultists may have dropped. Okay. Wow, how did you put that together? It's evidence. You need to hand it over. Take a photo of it, it's fine. I told you not to keep that thing to me. Thanking you. Thanks. This could prove to be helpful. Do me a favor. Stick around town for now in case we have any more questions. <laughs> like we'd even dream of missing dear Oh, God. Saga! Saga Anderson. As I live and breathe. And you are... I thought we'd never see you back here after that awful, awful thing happened to your baby girl. Excuse me? How are you? Um... I'm sorry. Who are you? I don't know what you're talking about. It's me, silly. Rose. What is going you on? You know me. 
I don't think I do. And what horrible thing happened to my baby girl? She drowned. Your daughter? That's so weird. You don't remember. Yes, thanks. How do you know I have a daughter? Oh, I know what this is. You're blocking out your traumatic memories. What Happens is going on, on? All the time. No. If, by the way, the facial expressions are on point. You're mistaking me for someone else. <laughs> if you say so. That was weird. Hmm. Her baby girl is definitely alive. She spoke to her on the phone. Anything else here? It's a nice chilled diner. Okay. Let's go and speak to the sheriff. All set. My guys have Nightingale at the morgue if you're ready to go take a look. Yeah. Let's go. Oh. Well, Casey, I got a lead. Looks like we're dealing with a cult. The cult of the tree. A murder cult. T Fuck. Have you Fuck. heard of this cult of the tree, Sheriff? Only the urban legend. If you're in the woods at night, the cult will get you. That sort of thing. We're not oh. gonna find out you're the Grand Wizard or something, are we? I played some D&D back in the day. Uh. Wizard was always my favorite class. Morning, uh. Sheriff! Look morning, Sheriff! Guests. Ah, morning, Ted. Yeah, real important guests. Deerfest. Always draws a crowd, right? <laughs> Too true! More the merrier. Have a good one, Sheriff! Okay. This is somewhere I hey, feel like I could live. Waitress from <laughs> Apart from the murders. <laughs> Rose? Yeah, she's a bit of a space case. Always has been. Why? What'd she do now? She kept saying that my daughter drowned. She even knew my name. It was all very weird. Rose has a talent for saying the weirdest thing possible. But it's best not to take it personally. <laughs> okay. Sure. <laughs> Right, morgue examination room. Oh, they got him here quite quickly. Very prompt. In the morgue, all prep. I'd like to take a closer look as soon as possible. Oh, nice. So you get separate maps for the different towns and areas. Cool. I like that. Oh, this is the very very cool. I guess it, because it was a huge map, right? Let us know. We appreciate so I guess it just unlocks Sheriff. different parts. Sorry, I keep talking over them. I'm trying not to talk over them. Yep, yep. Just here to pay my ticket. Whenever you're ready to take my money. Okay. Uh, should we? Do we go to the mall? Yes. Sorry. Distracted by people. So we share a morgue with the funeral home next door. It's a shoestring budget. I guess tell. you guys don't have that problem though. Our only coroner rotates between a few other towns, and he's away this week. But you can handle this, right? I'm qualified to perform examinations. Yes. I mean, we kind of half did it in the woods, so I guess this would just be easier. Something about morgues. They always cheer me up. I can't say I feel the same. He's joking. Oh, this is creepy. Okay. Lovely and dark. And okay. Cool. Hey, there Let's he is. Let's take a look at our patient. Examine so Nightingale's body. performing the internal examination. Okay. What was the cause of death? What other clues can the body... This looks like text. Oh. A tattoo? Nightingale oh, okay. Like the others? Tattoo guy. No, but the others had Defensive some wounds. sort of weird tattoo really Put up a fight. markings, right? The body shows signs of being submerged in water post-mortem. Post-mortem, okay. It doesn't add up. No. Uh-huh. They did leave something inside his chest. Fantastic. There's writing on here. Can't make it out. Right. Okay, then. Huh. All right, examination. See what Nightingale's body can tell us. Eligible words on the heart. Okay, so you can't. We can't actually read them. Ritual writing could be. Uh, 
How can I can't make it out what it says? Wow. Chest ripped open something visible inside. So what is it? Hmm. Cause of death, yeah. As I suspect you look and it, something was put in there. What though? I want to know what was put in there. I was alive and strapped down. Timing is inconsistent with bloating. That's interesting. Okay. Defensive Chest wounds. Is cause of death. Yeah. But the corpse that would, is bloated. That would probably Waterlogged. Be yeah. That's strange. Doesn't add up. Not when it's post mortem, it doesn't. Uh, and I would have said this is here. Right. There's definitely something in his chest. Did the killers leave it there? They must have. Okay, so we've got another map. That's cool. Uh, so, previous murders. Wake wrote a book in the dark place called Return. Scratch edited into the horror story. I need to learn more. And Alex Casey's not sure of the manuscript. Here. Uh, examine the original body. Another body has been found. Yeah, okay. Right. Where is the body? Here. It's saying to go to the... Oh, I've got another picture. Sorry. The booker's... So, where would that go? Victims, I don't think, killer profile, here we go. <clears throat> not We're a serial killer. An organized group of killers, not a lone serial killer. Serial killers, sisters, right. The cold of the tree is behind these murders. This case just became much more complicated. Yeah. Madness. I'll need to start a new file. But it's my first cult case. Exciting. Huh. Hmm. Good. I'm glad you're excited. Right. So, um, we need. Where's the body? Here. Mm, no, that's that's all of them. So I go to here. Start I need off. to know more about the cult of the tree if I'm going to shut them down. Because mm. we know nothing. Wow. We've got the necklace, yeah. And the masks. That's fair enough. Uh, I need to place this. Symbols, yeah. Jewelry can be used as a subtle indicator of membership, but this isn't subtle, a badge of pride. And then... Hmm. Cult psychology, cultists wearing masks. If they're hidden, hiding their faces, they aren't established enough to operate openly. Connection to DFS? Yeah. So this is what I said, that they must know the area. So maybe they are known in the area or come from the area. Large amount of supplies laid out on the table. So they're pretty well organized. This is a lot of equipment just laying around. How long have they been out here? Yeah. 10 years, maybe? Cool. So then we have this that we found. Finding a Casey movie lunchbox out here can't be a coincidence. Not when it's said Another about message. Alan Wake as well. Wow. Oh. <laughs> Not then. Golden Lake area. Okay. Yes, of course. The note inside mentions Alan. Alan Wake. What the hell are these? And also what Rose was saying. Oh, no. What uh, the bookers were saying about Alan Wake dying or going missing. 
So right, those are the cases. Okay. Right, so what are our goals now? Examine Nightingale's body. Okay, we need to examine this chest. Giving me uh, Hannibal vibes right now. Silence of the Lambs, you know, with the moth. It's the same type of page we found in Cauldron Lake. Oh, great. Nightingale haunted saga. Didn't see her. The Taken could not see into bright light. Light hurt them, made them vulnerable. Huh. Nightingale had no heart, but here he was, killing. Someone's created a fucked up fantasy about us. How though? Hey, hold on. Wouldn't it wake you out? I found these kinds of pages. I didn't think they were relevant to this case. Oh, maybe the other cases? So there's another link. So is this how we make the story up? Like put all the pages together that we find? Manuscript, essentially. No, 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 wait. Oh, fantastic. What? Sheriff? What the hell? Show me the clicker. My days. Please don't put me in this in this situation. Could not see into bright light. Could not see into bright light. So only in the darkness. <gasps> oh. <laughs> Torch. The page said to get into the light. Get into the fucking light then. Try to stay in the light to avoid being detected by enemies. Okay. Okay, but now what? Do I, what do I do? Stay here? Where is he? He can't see me in the light. My gun's out in the hall. Gotta get it back. How? Safe havens will restore some of your health. If you leave or attack from a safe haven while in combat, it will become temporarily unavailable. Go. We'll try that again. Okay. Um, the problem was I couldn't really see. Is it that way? That's the way I want to go. Okay. He can't see me in the light. I got the wrong door. <laughs> Fucking hell. My gun's out in the hall. Gotta get it back. Go in there, mate. Go.
Well, that should give you a little feeler, a little preview. Beautiful music to, you know, sign us out of this episode. I hope you enjoyed that. That was so intense, terrifying. I am literally like this right now. Is this something that you'd be interested in watching me play? Let me know. I'm very intrigued by it, but I'm also absolutely terrified by this. And this is on story mode, people. So it just gives you a little bit of a snippet of what it would be like watching me play this. Give me your thoughts. I think it looks incredible. The storyline is so strong and intriguing. And I think that's obviously where they've concentrated on as well. But the feel of it, the music, Music, the graphics, everything just is so perfect. I hope you enjoyed that. Give us a like if you have. Give us a comment. Let me know your opinions. This is very different to what I usually play. Um, and if you'd be interested in watching me, maybe stream it. Um, a couple of you have mentioned about doing horror. So, I mean, this would tie in with that. But I want to know your thoughts. Thank you so much. Take care. And until next time, ta-ta.